chariots welcome back to my channel and happy halloween for those of you that are celebrating today all right for me it is halloween morning and i am uh, here sipping some of my pumpkin spice chai tea and getting ready for trick-or-treaters tonight so it wouldn't be Halloween without doing a reading for all of you. So hello and welcome. Welcome to my new subscribers and uh, welcome back to my returning ones. I want to just thank everyone for the continued support that you all send me and share with me each day. Uh, it's beautiful to hear from you. I love reading your comments. I read each and every one. Uh, and I'm just so grateful. So I just wanted to say thank you. All right. So for today's pick a card reading, we are going to see what your person is thinking about you on this day today. All right. So I have three piles here that we're working with. Okay. Um, from the Halloween Oracle. This is the witch for pile one. All right. For pile two, we have the werewolf. And for pile th three here, we have the vampire. All right, so my chariots, do what you need to do to pick your piles. If you are drawn to more than one, that's perfectly fine. That means there's messages in the other piles for you to hear. And if you are not drawn to any, um, that's fine too. That just means the message is not for you today, okay? If it doesn't resonate. Uh, the words that I always express in my readings are messages for someone. So if it doesn't click for you, that just means that it's not uh, meant for you to hear. Uh, it's meant for someone else. So let's get started. Why don't you pick your pile and I will see you there. Hello, pile one. You picked the witch card here. So this is going to be your reading today for your person's thoughts of you, okay? We'll take a look and see what are they thinking about you today on, on this day, all right? So before we get started, pile one, I just want you to center yourself for a second and take a deep breath. And I just want you to be still and think about your person. while we see what your person is thinking about today. So I already picked some cards and then I do have uh, the Tarot 1909 original deck here that I'll use as well. But we're starting off with the witch card here, all right? And underneath that, the earthly weaver of the worlds. All right, so this is the card that you were drawn to. And then I do have three tarot cards here, uh, plus another one from the ha Halloween Oracle deck. So I'm using all my Halloween cards today since it's Halloween. All right, and, and we'll see what we can get regarding what your person's thoughts are of you today. All right, we do have trick or treat here. Uh, mischief and play. All right, and then from the Halloween Tarot, we have the Hierophant. All right, and from the night before Halloween, we have the Seven of Swords. And from the Beautiful Creatures Tarot, wow, we have the Six of Swords detachment okay and then we have our oracle card i have from the moonology we'll look at that at the end for guidance okay and before i get deep i am going to pick some um messages from my pitcher here my water pitcher i haven't used these in a while so we'll see what else we can get to see anything that comes out that may resonate with you and and your person, okay. All right, so let's see what we have here. All right, we do have the letter Q. Let's 
see. The letter M or W, take that how it resonates. All right, and we have the letter Z, all right? And the letter J. And all right, that's all for letters. And then for numbers, we have the number 31, the number 20, and the number six, okay? And then for signs, we have Aries, we have Capricorn, and we have Libra. All right, energies, Capricorn, Libra, and Aries. And then we have soulmates. I'm sorry. And far apart. And then for key words, we have honest. We have a humanitarian here. We have romantic and we have humorous, okay? And definitely what I'm feeling is, you know, your person is coming through pile one today with a, uh, a lightheartedness, you know, especially with this trick or treat card coming out for you because this is the card about mischief and play. And I feel like in today, uh, with today, you, you know, your person is trying to be in a more lighthearted, positive energy. Um, because what I'm getting at for your situation uh, is, is that uh, this is a situation where uh, we have the Hierophant here with the Seven of Swords and the six of swords so in in this case i definitely feel like this is a uh, person that is committed to something else right now okay and it doesn't have to be a romantic partner but we have the hierophant here which is all about tradition and commitments um, traditional institutions such as marriage so i feel that there's something that your person is committed to, all right, uh, that drove them away from you because we have the Six of Swords here. So th there's these uh, feelings coming through that this person detached from you with the Seven of Swords in between. And the Seven of Swords all represents some sort of uh, inauthenticity, trickery, or deceit. Uh, somebody wasn't being truthful there were lies here in this situation. So if that doesn't resonate uh, with you, you might wanna go on and try different, one of the other piles. Um, but uh, this definitely feels that, uh, especially with the keywords, you know, we have honest here and we have, I'm sorry, okay? So I feel that, you know, this, your person met you and they definitely had these deep feelings for you with this soulmates here, okay? They had these deep feelings of soulmates, but, you know, this apologies coming through, the key word coming out is uh, honest, you know, being honest. And I feel, you know, in, in, in this situation, uh, somebody wasn't honest and, and I do feel like it was your person okay uh, I feel that the the two of you had a very romantic connection okay that there was definitely this spark there was this romance here and it is possible you know there's this keyword here far apart so this can be a uh, situation where you two don't live in the same town or the same area or your worlds apart at this time okay but um you know there 
your person is a humanitarian here at heart okay so they they try to look they they try to look for the good in others and they're always trying to help other people i feel that uh your person is well liked by many all right with this humanitarian coming out here um they with, with this with witch card and the humanitarian because the witch card is a sign of if this is almost like a magician in a way that you know you have the power to change things all right with this witch here the earthly weaver of the world which represents magic and change all right and and i do feel that uh, this person has a strong feeling for wanting to you know change the world or they feel strongly about certain subjects uh, that you know they are interested in and there's a passion you know that they have for wanting to change things to make this world a better place all right so if that's not how your person is is described or you feel that that's not them you want to move on and check out the other piles but that's what i'm getting from this these first set of cards just to give you an idea of maybe what your situation is and what your person is like okay um and now i'm going to just take the tarot cards to actually answer the question of what is your person thinking about uh today when it comes to you and your connection so spirit for pile one pile one's person what's on their mind today when it comes to pile one and this connection what is on their mind what are their thoughts today regarding pile one please Wow, the Four of Wands. <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles. And Strength. So as I, I said earlier, there definitely was some sort of detachment because your person has moved away from you, okay? Um, Six of Swords, though, can also represent travel and the fact that we have this key word here, far apart, that could just mean that, you know, uh, the two of you, this is some sort of long distance relationship and the two of you aren't anywhere near each other. But, uh, you know, right off the bat, your person's current energies are, you know, this, this state of union, you know, wanting to feel this union with you, pile one. All right, um, and the Four of Swords is all about uh, a celebration, okay? Wow, the Empress, clarifying the Empress here. The Ten of Pentacles clarified by the Knight of Cups and Strength clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups uh, your person's thinking about a reconciliation today, pile one, all right? So when they're, they're thinking of you and this connection in their thoughts today is you here as the empress and what it would be like to actually uh, unite with you, have a physical union, all right? Because the empress is that earth energy, all right? We have this beautiful fault fertility and abundance coming through they see you as this divine counterpart as this beautiful person and th they are thinking about what it would be like to come forward to you all right to come forward to you and express their feelings the feelings these deep feelings that they have for you all right uh but what is holding them back this ten of pentacles here this this family that's already in place okay with the hierophant here and they're linked together because the the cards are on top of each other so you know that is what holds them back okay they are committed to another family or 
some sort of energy in this physical material world that keeps them and prevents them from coming directly towards you all right and because of that we have to be strong here um, there's the strength card okay there's the strength card and it's clarified by the nine of pentacles here which is that pre-empress energy as well okay um, earth energy coming through so we do have capricorn here um, and uh, the earth energy of the nine of pentacles uh, i feel that they still think you are beautiful you know, I still think they're very attracted to you, okay? When they see you, I still feel that they have that feeling of awe, all right? Um, but they are trying to be strong and they are trying to let you live your life is what I'm feeling with, with this Nine of Pentacles because the Nine of Pentacles is all about enjoying the fruits of your labor and this present this pre present energy and what is around you at this moment. So I feel that they are staying away, that they are purposely staying away because they feel that if they were to come forward to you, that they would just make your life uh, more chaotic, that they would muddy the waters, all right? And even on the bottom of the deck here today, that they're, they're thinking about this, um, reconciliation because with the three of cups here this is all about a celebration it's about friendship i feel like they miss your friendship all right and it's something that they want to manifest all right with the magician here because they're still look as i was saying there's still a desire for you there's still a hunger for you with this ace of wands and the queen of wands oh wow look at this and the king of wands so you know we have the king and queen of wands I, I do feel that they just feel a strong desire for you they feel that the two of you would make a incredibly uh passionate couple okay is what is coming through so there's a lot of fire here and we do have aries that came out so this fire energy is is coming through all right um and, and it's something that they want to manifest, all right? It's something that they're trying to manifest, but yet in this physical, material world, um, in order for this to happen, you would have to get to this Ace of Pentacles here, this new beginning, okay? And they're not there, all right? So this is why it's not manifesting because they would need to make room for that, all right? They would need to make room for this you know, as I said, I feel that they are committed. There's another energy here that's blocking this connection, whether it's a spouse, a partner, a family, a job, you know, a job, something in this physical material world is preventing them from coming towards you. Okay. So this is what they're thinking about today. So before I close out the reading, I will get some messages from them. So let's see what we have here. Messages for pile one, please, spirit, from their person. And then we'll look at the guidance card. All right. We have, have you forgotten me? I know this connection is guided by the universe. Our souls feel like one. So see, with, the, with this four of wands here, this is about two souls you're not uniting, okay? And, you know, we have the magician here that I saw and the witch, which I said is an awful lot uh, like the magician because they realize, you know, they have the power to change things if they want it to. I have done much soul searching, all right? So your person has been thinking and reflecting a lot. I don't want to, wow, I don't want to cause chaos for you right now. Did I not say that? They're not coming forward because they feel like if they came forward right at this moment, this would just cause a lot of chaos to your life and, and to theirs. Can we hold hands? Oh, wow. They're just looking for that physical intimacy. And like I said, there was a lot of that fire, 
you know, fire energy that came through. And on the bottom of the deck, look at this, I never meant to hurt you. All right, which coincides with this, I'm sorry, the seven of swords energy and the six of swords of having to detach and move away from the situation. All right, so that's what we have for you, pile one. Let's close out with your guidance card here from the Moonology deck. Wow, the energy is gaining momentum, all right? The waxing moon, so it's almost like the energies here are ramping up. So if you feel the energies from your person at this time, uh, this very well can be a confirmation for you if you feel that going on. So thank you, Pile One. Uh, happy Halloween to those of you that are celebrating, and I will see you at the next reading. Hello, Pile Two. You chose the werewolf here for your reading, and, and today's reading is about, you know, what's on your person's mind? What are they thinking about today? Okay, their thoughts of you today. So let's get started here. I already pulled some cards, and plus I have the Tarot 1909 um, original deck that I'm going to be using, and I'm also going to be pulling some, you know, cards here from my water pitcher. I haven't used that in a while. So we can see if any of these resonate with you or your person or your situation. All right. So pile two, can you do me a favor? Can you take a deep breath? All right. I just want you to center yourself for a second. And I want you to think about your person. All right, and let's see what comes through today for your person's thoughts, okay? What are they thinking about? So we start off with this werewolf card here, exploring wildness, okay? So let's take a look um, and see what else we have. Um, I have another oracle card here from the Halloween oracle. I'm using all my Halloween tarot decks and oracle deck today. Graveyard, unnecessary fear. All right, so that is interesting. From the Halloween Tarot, Four of Ghosts. All right, and this is the Four of Cups. And the Ten of Needles here from the Nightmare Before, uh, before a Christmas deck, which is the Ten of Swords. Oh, wait, you have two cards here. Interesting. Oh, wow. The Two of Swords and the Ten of Swords. So we had two cards here stuck together. The Two of Swords and the Ten of Swords. From Beautiful Creatures Tarot, we have strength, okay, fortitude coming through. And we do have um, an oracle card from the Moonology, which I will pull at the end, okay? So I'm also going to pull some things here from the water pitcher and see if any of this resonates with you, your person, your connection, your relationship. All right, so what do we got here? Let's see, let's do letters first. Hmm. Hmm. What do I have here? All right. Hmm. Numbers. Ooh, what do we got going on here? Hmm. All right, so what do we have here? Let's start with um, the letters. So we have uh, the letter V, all right? I'm hearing vulnerable too, all right? L for love. We have P here. Passion just came through. All right, T. I heard tangible. We have E. And 
and the letter C, okay? And for numbers only two, we have the number 22 here, and we have the number 17, okay? And then we only have one zodiac sign coming through, Gemini, all right? Ooh, which is the lover's card, okay? And then for keywords, wow, we have sexy, we have humorous, fiercely protective, we have stubborn coming through here, a worrier, sensual, talkative, and deep, all right? And then for little, I have like little uh, sentences here, like you are my shining star, passion, warmth, um, guard it and being called okay so what am, what can I get um, from um, I'm trying to just give you an idea of your person and your situation before we get into their thoughts um, to see if anything resonate resonates here um, and when it comes to situ this situation pile too with your person, I feel this is someone that carries a lot of fear within them, but it's something that they do not show, all right, everyone, because the two cards that we got here from the Oracle card deck is the werewolf and the graveyard, okay? Under the werewolf, it's exploring wildness, and graveyard is unnecessary fear, Okay, unnecessary fear. Um, and with this werewolf, you know, the werewolf can be considered a shapeshifter, all right? Someone that changes, right? Because the werewolf here is human, and then at night the moon comes out, they change into the werewolf, they're howling at the moon. I feel with your person, you know, they appear on the outside as. Uh, very confident as you know wild in, in the sense that they are very open and and I feel that this is a person that uh, makes friends easily or this is a person that uh, works well with others you know in that type of situation uh, has a lot of friends or uh, is is the type of person that, um, can just go up and, and basically start a conversation with anybody, all right? So, you know, on the outside, they appear very strong and confident and that they have a handle on things. But, uh, you know, inside, inside, they're very guarded, all right? They're very guarded um, and... <laughs> They're very, um, and look, I have, remember this is talkative. I feel like they're very talkative, okay? I, I feel that they are very sexy, that they are very attractive. So, you know, it's easy for people to be drawn to them, all right? Uh, and they're funny too, look, they're humorous. So I feel like they have that all around um, charismatic personality, all right? Um, but then there's this other side to them, all right? And they're, I feel that they're very deep thinkers, okay? That behind closed doors, they can be very sensual, all right? Um, but we have here fiercely protective. And even though I feel that they may be, you know, definitely would, you know, protect the ones that they love, I feel this is actually pointing towards how protective and guarded they are when it comes to their own hearts. Okay, um, they're a worrier when it, it comes to their own um, emotional vulnerability. Okay, and be that because of that, they can be very stubborn. All right, I, I feel some stubborn energy coming through here with this Four of Cups because you see that person, like, you know, they're sometimes they appear that nothing is bothering them, that they don't care about anything or they have a handle on things, but inside, all right, inside, 
they can be very worried um, and there's a lot of this unnecessary fear uh, in the car you know in this card of um, the graveyard okay and and being so talkative it really matches up you know this is an air sign Gemini all right also can be a Libra or uh, an Aquarius okay um, as I, I mentioned, I feel that their uh, personality, like I said, they can come across as quite charming, quite charming. You know, look, they're warm and they're they're passionate about certain things. But um, in regards to your situation, okay, um, they're heartbroken because uh, for whatever the reason was, there, we have the Two of Swords here. And the Ten of Swords, which represents a, uh, an ending to me. There was some sort of ending, okay? And I, I have a feeling it has to do with a decision, obviously. Two of Swords is when someone has their head in the sand and they won't make that decision or they can't face making that decision, all right? So that there was an ending here. Okay, and even though your person tries to remain strong, like I was saying, like things don't bother them, in, in this case, they're very um, heartbroken because inside they were always very drawn to you being called here. They're, they're very called to your energy, okay? And they saw you, look, you are my shining star. I, I feel you brought a lot of light to them. All right, your lights just energetically connect it with this person pile too. So they felt very drawn to you. And despite the situation of whatever happened here, why there was this ending, uh, the overall you know, feeling that I'm getting right now is, is that they're heartbroken about it, okay? And um, I think it's a lot that they carry inside of them that they don't share with anybody. So, you know, this is something that they just carry within them. So pile two, when it comes to, you know, what are your person's thoughts of you today? Let's see what they're thinking about when it comes to you and your connection. Wow. The Four of Cups, again. Wow, the Empress. She came out in Pile 1, too. The Ace of Swords. The Queen of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles and the Hierophant. On the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. So your person is looking for this new start with you. Um, but, oh wow, and the, the Knight of Cups, okay. So there was some sort of conflict all right, because we have the Five of Swords, which, which shows me there's other, you know, the Five of Swords represents that energy of winning at all costs. All right, there's competition here or battles or there was jealousies. Okay, something went on here where uh, it, it caused this uh, relationship to end. Okay, and despite that, you know, your person still has these strong feelings for you with this Knight of Cups, I mean, wanting to come towards you. And it's it's like they want to restart. They want this new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles here. All right. And this is a gift. This is this opportunity that the universe is presenting, all right, to your person to start this... Um, to have a fresh start with you, Pile 2, in the here and now, in this present situation, okay? Um, but we start off with the Four of Cups again, and your person is, you know, I really feel a strong, stubborn sense of energy as if 
they are so guarded they are acting like this is not bothering them and meanwhile inside uh they're really heartbroken about it okay because we have the queen of wands here right the queen of wands you know she is charismatic and sensual and beautiful and she you know is someone that takes action all right and she's very positive all right and she's very intuitive okay and they still feel and see you in that way i mean we have the empress here and they want to come towards you with this knight of pentacles but this is such a slow energy right this is a slow energy and even though they feel very focused and determined to get back to this pentacle, which is you, pile two, um, it's it's something that's going to take time, all right? It's something that they're moving very slowly about, all right? And I feel that, uh, you know, we had this message here about being called, and with the Hierophant, I feel that this is something that they're definitely called towards. This is a, a spiritual, uh, a higher learning for them, like something uh, awakened in them is, is what I'm feeling because of this ace of, of, of swords here, which is representing truth and clarity, all right? They, they've gained clarity regarding the situation all right, or, or they realized something different now. Um, and I'm really, uh, for some reason today, I'm drawn to the two keys that are down here with the Hierophant, you know, and I'm almost getting this feel, feeling like, you know, both of you hold the key to each other in, in this um, awakening that I feel that the two of you are going through, okay? Um, there's, there's something here, there's, something important with this ace of swords here that brought clarity to your person um, regarding this connection something is very important to them or they've realized that okay so before we close out the reading let me just get some messages from them as well so what messages does pile two's person have for them today I can feel my soul intertwined with yours and with this queen of wands this passion you know and we have the words here and that werewolf definitely shows me that drive and that hunger that they feel towards you I feel my hands are tied and there is nothing I can do. So they feel that they are, uh, you know, not able, that something has caused them to be unable to move towards you at this moment. Trust and believe, trust and believe, you know, and that can be some of the clarity that they have at this moment this is not in your head i feel it too your passion ignites my soul wow this is a very passionate group i'm so sad since you left and isn't that isn't that what i said earlier you know this person is trying to uh, appear so like if they're if you see them in any way whether you see them on social media if you see them out and about um, and they appear that they are fine you need to know that they are not okay that they are carrying this all within them and it it, it really is that you know the feel I'm surprised the three of swords is not here because it really feels like a broken heart all right, I feel so alive when I am with you is on the bottom of the deck, all right? Those feelings, this wildness, I really feel that, you know, you are someone that triggered this wildness in them, I, you know, and I mean that in the way that, you know, I feel that maybe they were just going along every day, 
you know, with their routine. And then when they met you, it's like they triggered this awakening that I was mentioning before. Something very deep is, is what I'm getting overall. Okay, so let's take a look at your Oracle card before we close out the reading. Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. All right, so I feel that, you know, yes, this person hides so much within them instead of them just coming forward and being truthful about it. That there's this unnecessary fear that is built up in them, exactly like this card um, is showing. And if they would just kind of step into some of this werewolf, you know, energy and just take charge, I feel that things would be very different between the two of you. Okay, so I'm going to leave the reading here, pile two, and I will see you again at the next reading. Bye. Hello, pile three. You picked this vampire here for your reading. And the reading is today, what is your person thinking about when it comes to you in this relationship or connection? All right, so I do have cards that I already picked. We will go through those along with um, some more tarot cards from the 1909 tarot original deck. Um, and then I'm going to pick some messages here from my water pitcher. I haven't used that in a while. So we'll do that too. So pile three, can you do me a favor? Can you take a deep breath? All right, and I want you to center yourself and I want you to breathe for a moment. And I just want you to be still and I want you to think about your person. And we'll see if we can figure out what's going on here. All right, so we start off with this vampire card, which is emotional intelligence, all right? I feel your person feels very drained right now. Emotionally drained is, is what I'm gathering, all right? And also from the Halloween Oracle deck, we have hearth, all right? Happiness is in our hearts and homes. And let's see, from Halloween Tarot, The Hanged Man. From The Nightmare Before Christmas, Judgment. And from Beautiful Creatures, The Decadence, card 16. This is The Tower, wow. All right, and then we have um, one oracle card here from Moonology, which I'll take a look at the end of the reading. And then let me pull some cards here from my water pitcher and see what we have here. Okay. Okie dokie. Hmm. Oops. All right. Wow. Okay. Um, so no numbers. All right. But we do have the letter G. Okay, we have the letter U and we have the letter D. For zodiac signs, we have Taurus. We have Gemini. And we have Cancer. Okay, um, for keywords, we have logical, practical. Quiet, secretive, flexible, action oriented. And then here we have twin flames. 
N new beginnings. Wow. You are my shining star. I am surrendering. Hugs and kisses. And separate it. Okay. So what am I getting when it comes to your person at pile three, as I said, you know, from the beginning, your person right now is feeling very emotionally drained. All right. Uh, we have the tower card here. All right. Abruption. All right. And with this card separated, I feel that there was an abrupt ending between you and your person. Um, and it happened rather quickly, all right? It was very action-oriented, uh, and um, it came out of nowhere. Uh, and this caused, this is just causing um, an upheaval for your person. All right, because with the hanged man and judgment card here, we have two, two spiritual cards coming through where I feel that um, this is definitely an awakening, all right, for your person. Your person is looking at things from a higher perspective. They feel very called, all right, and this, was, this is like an eye-opener for, for your person because what they have been enduring, I think, in their emotional uh, uh, they've been very, how do I say this? They've been very overwhelmed in an, in an emotional way, okay, with this vampire energy here. They're very overwhelmed by their emotions um, that were triggered by you, Pile 3. Uh, and we definitely have a look that, you know, this, this feeling, this energy coming through of Twin Flames, okay, which I feel is connected to this judgment and this tower moment that happened between um, the both of you. Uh, and because of that, um, I just feel that the happiness in their life right now is very low. Okay. This is an energetic low for them at the moment. Um, something happened here between the two of you that prevents both of you from being flexible with one another. And because of this um, separation, they have been going through a lot of self-reflection, a lot of soul searching. Um, and that's why we have this card here where they've surrendered, they're surrendering to this situation. Um, I almost feel, you know, and I'm looking at these initials and even though it doesn't spell out the, this GUD, I feel that they're guided. They're, they're, I feel like they're being guided right now. Okay. Um, they met you and literally felt your energy and your light and, and they consider you, your, your shining star to them. Okay. You are a shining star. And because of that, they're looking for these new beginnings, all right? They're looking for these new beginnings with you. Um, and I feel that this is something where they are keeping this very secretive, okay? They are keeping this very secretive. They're very quiet about this because right now they're struggling and I feel that they're trying to be very logical and practical when it comes to this situation. All right. They're trying to be very logical and practical. Um, 
and yet um, and yet um, on the inside I feel that they have this clarity where they ha have realized this truth okay this truth that they've uh, come to the realization that uh, they are completely uh, in love with you so let's see what thoughts they have right now for you pile three the eight of cups the high priestess the ace of cups the star the fool and the hanged man on the bottom of the deck the three the three of wands so right now uh they see you as this wish fulfillment okay and we we have the separation here we have the energy of this twin flame energy coming through so i do feel that this is a separation phase between the two of you and currently what they're thinking is how how they have walked away from this situation and yet how miserable they feel inside okay because with this hearth here happiness in our hearts and homes i feel they they've already experienced that feeling that you are home to them okay that you are look you are this shining star okay you are this shining star this is aquarius energy all right um they have hope and they have healing from you all right but as i was saying with these secretive and quiet we have the high priestess here so all is quiet between the two of you right now as you are in this separation phase of your journey all right the unspoken word at this time of knowing deep down that this person wants to take this leap of faith and they want this new start with you all right because of this love that they're experiencing with you as I just said, you know, and here's the Ace of Cups now showing up. The Ace of Cups is here because this is the love. This is the love that they feel with you, Pile 3. All right. Um, they see things from a higher perspective. All right. They see what's going on here with this hanged man. The hanged man has come out twice. So there's definitely some sort of surrendering and transformation going on. Your person is experiencing this tower moment because of you all right all right because of meeting you all right and the hangman also is um a state of no action you know it's usually a, a limbo phase and the fact that the two of you are separated um would confirm that if there's no you know we have the high priestess and the hangman here no action no speaking no talking with the eight of cups all right so you two are are on your separate journeys at the moment and yet this shining star exists knowing knowing that the two of you are going to return to one another when the time is right okay um, because you realize you realize this emotional fulfillment all right um, this emotional fulfillment uh, and this look this longing and yearning with the three of wands here on the bottom of the deck this person misses you very much they think about you all the time and they're just waiting for that right opportunity all right they're waiting for that moment when they know 
energies will realign and the timing will be right um, so that they can finally see you all right and hugs and kisses are here because they miss and they want that physical intimacy with you so bad all right so let's take a look and see what other messages are here for you pile three what messages are here for pile three this is not in your head i feel it too you know and that's that twin flame that mirroring energy because a lot of times twin flames mirror the exact same energy so whenever you stop and you're thinking is this just me is it all in my head the other person is feeling the same way as well i am in a dark place but i am drawn to your light and that's what that shining star is all about you know you each have this light that you're both being guided towards you would never hurt me yet i hurt you i'm sorry all right they're so realizing the pain from the separation all right that they're feeling you oh my god you feel like home oh my gosh with that hearth or hurt the hearth card here saying that you know happiness air in our hearts and homes you feel like home that's that deep soul connection your love has opened my heart so i feel like yes you have opened something within your person just like they have for you all right which just brings this radiance to each other that you're both magnetically attracted to okay with this judgment card here some days my heart aches yes all right there's just a lot of pain during this separate the separation and the journey of the two of you not together on the bottom of the deck you have no idea how hard it was to walk away from you wow all right with that eight of cups energy here that definitely confirms that neither of you wanted to do that all right so let's take a look at your oracle card before we close out the reading what do we have here conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse all right so just know that i feel there's definitely going to be uh, a conclusion when it comes to this connection this relationship or situation all right things aren't over all right there's a lot going on behind the scenes uh, at the moment that you are unaware of so pile three i hope this resonated with you uh, and i will see you again at the next reading